Hey guys, Spencer from Buildapreneur here, and I wanna talk in this video and my next video, so this is a little two-part series, okay? We're gonna talk about all the tools and everything that I'm doing to, to kinda of spit out um, YouTube videos and make my channel like really just hum along, okay? I get asked all the time how I'm doing this, like I'm, I'm putting out a video or two every single day on this channel, um, you know, they're all nicely edited, nice thumbnails and things like that. And and people are like, how are you how are you pumping out so much video and having time to do anything else? And the answer is systems, okay? I use systems. Everything is just systemized. I, you know, I invested a little bit up front so that I could have all the tools and everything to just kind of like purr along nicely. So we're gonna go over that and I'll just kind of, the, the first video is just gonna show you about like the creation of the video and the next part will be like the YouTube side of things. Um, so I use a program it's called ScreenFlow. Super cool software, one-time fee, okay? 99 bucks I think is what it's at right now one time and it can do all the video um, editing and recording and, and you know all that stuff and make it look all nice and pretty so ScreenFlow, uh link down below cost 99 dollars, like i said and uh basically i'll kind of show you i would i would do something really simple i'll say new you can choose where to record sources from so i can record the desktop i can record video anything i have plugged in i can record right so desktop video which is my uh, webcam there I can record audio from any audio places that are plugged in, you know, all simultaneously. You can choose sizes and things like that. So very, very easy to do. And then I just click record and I'd start going, okay? And it'll spit out something that looks like this, okay? Um, and you can see it kind of automatically, it'll kind of spit it out. This will end up like right here. So then all you gotta do is quickly grab the second video. You can see it layers videos down here, okay? You just gotta grab the second one and kind of shrink it up a little bit, put it in the corner like that. and. Uh, you can see the first one here, I can do similar things too if I wanna kinda of edit out those margins a little bit. You know, very, very easy, very, very intuitive, just kind of a simple, it just does what it needs to do and not a million things that you like have no need to do, right? Like so many softwares out there do and you pay so much for something you don't really need. Um, you can do, I mean, you can get you can get like somewhat complicated, like I can make a cool little animation. You can add all kinds of things here. I can make an animation where I started out in the whole screen, you know, and then slowly shrunk down to where I was just right there as like we were talking and I wanted to focus more on what was on the screen. Um, you can edit, you know, you can crop different things. Um, so I can, you can see I can crop either one of those pictures like that if I wanted to. Uh, you can do different sound editing. So I'll always do like a little background noise removal so you can get like that nice pretty sound. Um, and then like I said, video motion, you can make this video move all over the screen if you want. Um, just adding a motion it takes about 10 seconds. Screen recording, um, call out, so I could have, I could make my, uh, my, I could make like a little uh, blur right here if I need to like blur, you know, things like that or however I want to do that. All very, very easy. Um, and touch call out, annotations, I can add like arrows and words, text here, all kinds of things. So it's just, it's, it's got everything you could possibly need to like throw out YouTube videos without like overcomplicating it, okay? Just kind of like, this is your menu, you know? So it's no like insane Adobe product with this every option where I could make like a movie about dinosaurs and create a live dinosaur and have it run across the screen. It's just not like that. It's just made for good, simple, you know, quick editing of YouTube videos. So that's the first one, ScreenFlow. And you can click the link down below and sign up. I would love that. I do get a little kickback from ScreenFlow. Um, but like I said, I, I recommend them because I use them. Uh, the second thing I use, we'll close out of screen flow here, is this mic, okay? There's a second link down below. You can see that same thing. This is the Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, roughly 100 bucks, 129 right now on Amazon. I've seen it on sale before. Um, but I use the Black Edition. Super, super good mic. Really, really uh, powerful. You can see kind of some things here. You can edit. Oop. You can edit like, um, what's this right here? I can't remember the word for it uh gain <laughs> things like that you can choose a pattern so you can say if you want it to get all the sound everywhere or just the sound coming from your mouth or just the sound from above or just front and back you can kind of like identify where the sound's coming from um, and then it's just a really high quality mic just tons and tons of podcasters and entrepreneurs use this exact mic um, really really comes highly recommended you can see on amazon just thousands and thousands of good reviews um, and then the third thing, hey, there's a link down below, who'd have thought, is this uh, webcam, super, super cheap, 50 bucks, one time on Amazon, HD. Um, you're, the recording is happening right now in that webcam. Um, very, very, very easy to use as well. Um, like you said, it just, it just pulls up in Blue Yeti and it's good to go. Um, it's the Logitech HD Pro webcam. So these three are the things I use to record and just quickly spit out a video, okay? The instant this recording is done, I'm gonna click an X and I'll be done recording and, uh, and there'll be a video pretty much ready to go, okay? So I can either edit it myself or I can give it to a VA, but it is like ready, the sound's good, the video's good, um, uh, you know, two minutes of adjustments and that thing's ready to go live. So that's the first part of the series, links to all three down below if that's what you're looking for.